Hi, welcome back to Guided by Faith Designs presents Woodworking and Painting in Faith. Today we are working on items that we were going to be donating to Justice for Mutts. Justice for Mutts is a local all-breed dog rescue here out of Central Texas. They are a 501c3 foster-based rescue. Lately, Justice for Mutts have taken in some very sick animals that have needed emergency vetting. And because of this, they have incurred a high vet bill. Guided by Faith Designs is committed to supporting Justice for Mutts. What we can do is we can donate items to them that they can sell at their upcoming adoption events. Those funds will go directly towards helping relieve some of the financial stress of their current vet bills. But it's also going to make it to where they have the ability to go and rescue more animals in need. They can rescue more animals out of bad situations, out of the pounds. They can get them healthy and help get them into their forever homes. As y'all know, my husband and I have five dogs, so this is something that is very near and dear to our hearts. Down in the description below, you are going to find a link to their website. Go check out Justice for Mutts and see what they're all about. Also on the website, you are going to find all of the information for their vet here in Temple, Texas. If you would like to help Justice for Mutts, please just give their vet a call and just let them know that you want to make a donation towards Justice for Mutts. As always, down in the description, you are going to find links to my website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. What you are not going to find is a link to my PayPal account. If you felt that you wanted to support my channel, please support Justice for Mutts instead. Give their vet a call and help make a donation to get their vet bills down. I hope that you enjoy this upcoming video. I hope that it gives you some great ideas. Please go and visit the Justice for Mutts website. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background right now. Please go visit the Justice for Mutt's website. Um, go see what they're all about. See some of the wonderful things they're doing and the amazing dogs that they currently have available for either foster or rescue. And rest assured that 100% of any donation that you make to Justice for Mutt's stays with Justice for Mutt's. Again, I am thankful for all of you. I hope you enjoy this and God bless. Hi, welcome back. So today we are going to do something a little bit different. The pour itself is going to be very uh, much the same, but what we're going to do with the painting afterwards is different. So today's colors are deco art, deco art only products. So we have the Deco Art Americana Warm White, Warm Beige, Dioxine Purple, Primary Blue, and Royal Fuchsia. And our mixture is the Deco Art Pouring Medium, which I am out of, so I need to order some more. Um, the Deco Art Clear Pouring Top Coat. I just put a little bit of this in there. It gives it a nice sheen. It's not as flat. It has a little bit of more of a shine to it when it dries. And then I did actually use some treadmill silicone today. I put a few drops in the blues, purple, pinks, and purple, but I did not in the lighter colors. So we're gonna see what happen. happens. It is gonna be just one big cup that we are gonna pour. And like I said, the painting itself is gonna be just a regular uh, dirty cup flip, but what we're gonna do with it afterwards is gonna be different. Let's get started.
Okay, we are uh, all done with this part. Sorry about the dogs barking in the background. Um, we are going to let this dry and um, we will be back for the next step. See y'all soon. Hi everybody, welcome back. So I was going through some of my older um, paintings that I still have in stock and I ran across a couple of my resin ones. And then I re realized that I really haven't done anything with resin other than using it as a top coat. So we are gonna play with resin today. Um, I wanted to try something new. It's something I haven't seen. Maybe somebody out there has done it, but I haven't seen it. And we are going to pour on a little glass um, I guess it's a little wine glass and we are going to pour on it when it's on the spinner and we are going to see what happens. So we are going to very carefully put this on. See, I don't want to break the glass. Okay. So now we got that on. Now we are going to, so I already have the resin mixed up. It is our, um, FDA compliant amazing clear coat resin and then I've got my three cups here we are going to use craft smart sapphire folk art ultra dye and the deco art Americana blue haven I don't know if you can see that oh and I did get my new um, webcam so it actually focuses or as I say that, it's not working. There it goes. And then the ultra dye. So we are going to pour the resin in these little cups and we are going to put in the paint and the dye and we are going to see what we get.
we are going to leave that right there. Hopefully y'all were able to see everything that I was just doing. Um, I'm going to try and zoom the camera in really close while we're doing this. But um, basically, instead of using like air, blyer, air blow dryer or anything, I'm actually using the fire to manipulate it. By heating it up really fast, it makes it more solvent and blends better. And so we were able to get these nice streaks. So we are going to let this dry overnight, let it continue to spin all night long. And we will come back in the morning and see what we have. See y'all soon. Hi. Okay, so we're back. It is all dried. And see if I can show you guys the detail that we have in it. So what did happen is whenever it was drying, we got a big bump right here on the bottom. And so, of course, that's not going to stand up straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to put my gloves on because this is glass. And I am going to use my belt sander to um, sand this down flat. Okay, so that is the detail, though. Sorry about the glare from the lights. Resin has a really bad glare. Okay, so I'm going to sand this down and then we will be back. Okay, so we're back. It is all sanded down so it's nice and smooth now and it's going to stand up on its own. We are going to put our vinyl on it. Okay, so we've got our vinyl on it. All right, now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and put it back on the spinner and do our top coat. Let me get set up for that. Okay, so we're all set up and we are going to put our top coat of resin on. Okay, I think we're going to leave it just like that. We're going to let it spin. Um, I got all the bubbles out, and um, we are going to let it spin. Hopefully the bottom will stay smooth. If not, we'll just sand it down again, and then we will be back with the finished product. See y'all soon. Hi. We are back. It is all dried. Um, this is the new webcam, so hopefully... The colors are just coming out better and more vibrant than they were last time. So, what we are going to do with this is we are actually putting this painting in this shadow box. Okay? So, let's get this set up.
So because this is too big, what we are going to do is we are going to cut this canvas. Okay. So we are going to take our X-Acto knife and carefully we are going to cut this canvas. Okay, so now we got our painting off. So if you do decide to do this and you actually are doing screen printing, save these because these is, these, these is, sorry, these are what I use to um, put my screens on as I use the um, frames off of the canvases that I do this with. So make sure you save them. You can always repurpose them for something else. Okay, now we are gonna put that underneath and we are gonna find out exactly what we wanna cut. So we, I know I want this to be in there. So we're going to pull that down a little bit. And we are going to see where we're at. I think that works. Okay, so we're going to turn it over. Let's see how it fits. Okay, so we are going to glue this so it's not going to look like that when we're done because we are going to glue this on. But that's going to be the background. Now we still do have to spray this down and all that kind of stuff. But so that's going to be the background. Okay. So um, I had to take the glass out and I've cleaned the glass. So we are going to put our vinyl on it. And this is the vinyl we're putting on it. So I'm actually going to take it off of this thing so I can see the glass. Okay. I know y'all can't see the glass very well, but... Okay, so now we have this piece done. I am going to go and grab um, the piece that's drying. I was able to, the rain stopped, so I was able to get it coated, and we will be right back. Okay, so I am back, and um, I have to apologize. I put, I hit the wrong button. I accidentally turned off the camera instead of um, recording. So all I did is I cut down the canvas a little bit more so it fit more snugly on um, this back piece and then I just took um, this Gorilla wood glue and a foam brush and I put the paint or the the glue on the fabric piece and I just brushed it on laid the canvas on top of it and then laid it on its face for about two hours with some weight on it to get it to adhere and be nice and flat without any bumps so that's all I did for that really really simple Okay, now that we got all the pieces done, we can put it together.
Okay, we are all done. I hope you guys liked this. Um, it's a little something different to do with your canvases when you're done with them. You can actually even get these shadow boxes in the exact size of your painting. That way you can literally just put the painting in there without the bracing piece and it just goes straight in there and then you can put your back on. So that's another thing that you can do. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and we are going to go back to our resin uh, wine glass. See y'all then. Hi, we're back. It is all dried. Well, it's not fully dry. It's still slightly tacky, so I wouldn't put, I wouldn't hold it really hard because um, it's not fully cured. It's going to take a couple days, but this is the finished product. See if it'll, it will um, focus. So this is the finished product. Sorry about the glares again. I put my hand up. I don't know if that helps any. Nope. Okay. That's all right. All right, but that's it. Wish it would focus better. Oh, there it goes. All righty. And then I still have to clean up the inside of it, but you still have, you can't see it, but you can actually still see the, all of this on the inside as well. Yeah, that's it. So I hope you kind of like this idea. I'm going to try and do more resin work soon. So stay tuned and we are going to finish, or we are going to work on a wood sign and then be all finished with this video. Okay, see y'all in a few. Hi, so we are going to do one more um, on this video. We have already done the painting with the glass and we have already done the um, resin wine glass with the vinyl. But we're going to do just a really quick win today or for this one. So what this is, is this is actually just a frame that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was $12.99. And I think I used my 40% off coupon for it. So frame that's already built. It's just plywood with um, some pretty cheap wood framing. But it has this whitewash look. Hopefully this weekend if the rain holds off, I'm going to do a video on how to actually make these yourself. But right now we're just going to use the one that's store bought. I put a quick coat of just regular Maj Podge on it. Um, just because this was so smooth, I wanted it the vinyl to have a good adherent surface. So this is another one that's going to Justice for Mutts. And so we're just going to put this on there. And there you go. That's it. Really, really quick, really simple. Um, you can choose to put a coat of Maj Podge on it to seal in this vinyl if you wanted to. I will probably go ahead and do that, but you all know how to, to paint on Maj Podge. So that's just another really quick win that um, you can do really inexpensive and um, looks really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed all of these ideas. Go check out all of the links that I put down in the description. Um, you know, the link to Justice for Mutt's Facebook page, as well as their website, um, as well as all the information for their vet if you would like to donate towards their vet bill to help them so that they can go out and they can rescue more um, dogs and other animals. Um, also in the description, as always, you're going to find the links to my Facebook Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website. Um, these vinyls will be available shortly on my website, so keep a lookout for that. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit the little notification button so that you know when we have new stuff coming. 
We are going to be making some more stuff for Justice for Mutts, so stay tuned for that as well. And I just hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed day. If you have fur babies, please give them a hug and a kiss from everybody here at Guided by Faith Designs. And when I say everybody, I be I mean me, my husband, and our five dogs. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and God bless.